Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Second day of beach running with the uh, with this beautiful background, this beautiful landscape behind me. I'm gonna give you the welcome. So I've been running for a, for at least um, three kilometers. I'm gonna run a little bit more, perhaps seven kilometers more so that I could reach my goal today which is at least 14 kilometers sadly I am not using any kind of uh, gadget that would let me know how long I am running I, um, I know more or less uh, the distance between the point where we are going to my home and uh, it is about 14 or 15 kilometers so just join me to this nice trip and i'm gonna i'm gonna run through this um, boardwalk enjoying this beautiful landscape okay i have to reach that corner then turn around and go down through this way so today I, I i will run the same route i did yesterday this is another detail of the club regatas lima club focus on well off and rich people in Lima. So, I'm gonna run a little bit for you to see how the view is, how enjoyable the view is in this spot of the city. a cat hunting something I think he noticed my presence bye bye uh -huh. okay, okay we already reached the beach which is behind me this is Pescadores Beach I don't need to explain why it is called Pescadores there are a lot of boats scattered yesterday I made a video about it and uh, this one which is uh, a little bit larger is called Agua Dulce, sweet water these ones are the cliffs of the Costa Verde it is called like that, Costa Verde and there is a little dog coming. Hi, friend. And uh, well, I will take advance of this boardwalk in order to run a little bit. I will try to get that spot. I think you won't notice from here. And this camera won't help. So, wish me good luck and good running. Today's morning is windy and the wind is a little bit cold uh, yeah and it's a little bit um, disturbing just because you still get this uh, feeling of uh, of cold you know? I hope the weather will change as soon as possible we are supposed in the month of spring month the spring is at the beginning but some people say that the uh, spring in Lima and maybe in the rest of uh, South America will be cold uh, I, I, I don't know how to explain this phenomenon but it is like that so uh, I am in Barranco the beach is almost empty some people are surfing 
scattered on the ocean and this is a marina you know so I have to Another view of the beach um, This part of the bay doesn't have sand the beaches are not sandy This point or this bridge joins the beach to Barranco neighborhood which is where I usually come with my friend Alejandro whenever we wanna take some drinks Okay, I have to run a little bit more There is a bunch of surfers over the, the sea They don't care if the, if the sea is cold In many ways their suit will help us a lot But I imagine myself doing that <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could, I wish I have learned how to surf when I was young Nowadays, mm, I don't know I think it's, it would be a little bit complicated or hard for me to learn surfing at this point of my life So, the only thing that is left is, is a running and some other kind of sports but it must be funny I really love the ocean I really love the waves I really love uh, uh, well at least watch surfing This is another part of this running journey Getting close to my goal That uh, rusty Mastil of a kind of a chip That's my That's a place where I always try to reach whenever I Whenever I run in <laughs> A gringa A gringa Okay It's a little bit sandy in this part But it's not natural sand obviously Because everything here is stone Scattered of stones or so there is another guy over there okay I uh, already get to this spot there are some dark wraps scattered on the rocks 
you already know how, how this landscape is there are some other crops around there The tide is a little bit uh, high compared to to yesterday. The waves are crashing strongly against these rocks. I hope I hope the sunny days come soon. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when it will happen since some people say that um, this spring will be cold and um, and this these people say that uh, the sunny days will come at the end of November at the beginning of December which is a little bit late it means October will be cold that's bad news. This is another view of the beach I mean the waves crashing on the rocks okay it's getting time to leave okay so I'm at the beginning of the second part of this uh, journey the second lap my way back home and uh, I will take the same way I took when I when I reached this lovely point let's see how it works or how it how how it goes <laughs> you have to understand that my English is not as good as I as I want so in order to to make this kind of videos pushing myself to improve my english skills my english will be better and better detailed more accuracy more fluent that's the idea behind of this kind of videos okay as usual I will try to hang myself from the bar uh, Let's see how it works Disclaimer I am not good at, at that I mean, I am new I am just trying to, to get used to it enough <laughs> uh, I have to practice a lot and on the other hand I have to lose weight because I am overweight that's why I am running so the idea behind running is not only because I like running but because I, I want to lose weight a little bit fat and chewy so I have to, to do something against that lots of cars are stuck in this um, part in Costa Verde the, our 
I don't know, one of the our main avenues. Because there are some electric works that um, they are doing over there. But it looks uh, like these people is stuck some for for so long. I mean, what will happen? And they are queuing. The queue, I mean, the amount of cars is very large. A lot of cars waiting to have access. Okay, I have a run until this part of uh, the beach called Agua Dulce, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna rest for a while just because now I'm feeling a little bit tired. I remember I did this uh, this running journey yesterday and yeah I'm feeling tired I'm feeling the impact of this routine I have to get used to this meanwhile I'm gonna show you this lovely view the beach is empty just few people around although there are some some people who is practicing some sports the daylight is brighter and stronger compared to one hour ago and the sea is peaceful the tide is not high it didn't rise and yeah I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit tired I'm a little bit tired I have to run a little bit more in order to get used to this kind of effort maybe next time I will run close to my home I'm gonna show you how it is my neighbor my neighborhood not my neighbor <laughs> uh, okay I'm getting hungry I want to eat something my breakfast breakfast today was just milk and coffee I have to I have to eat a little bit more and better since I am trying to to work out it means you know I will need some kind of special food So, it's time to run again. The beach over here is sandy compared to the ones I show you previously that were stoned and and for me a little bit uglier compared to this one. This one is sandy and there is more space for you to to have fun obviously it's different in uh, summer in summer this beach is over, overcrowded many people come just because it's, uh, it's big it's nice and for many people it's cheaper that's why some other people usually goes southern to the south part of Lima where there are some other beaches and uh, um, you know medium class well-off people 
have their um, summer houses over there and uh, and low classes tend to come here hmm? I come here because it's close to my home and it's a very nice beach but the thing is I, I really don't like when the beaches are so overcrowded and people are like extremely close to you hmm? in many ways it's a little bit dangerous too so okay now I'm a lot tired I just run this part of of my journey, my route which is very hard because you have to go up and it's very tired but it is nice sorry if my English is not uh, proper but when I am when I am very tired it's a little bit difficult for me to to speak in English properly fluent with some accuracy but I think that you understand what I what I mean so it's getting better as long as you walk a little bit the feeling of uh, tire, tiredness uh, change a little so this is the boardwalk 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 of Chorrillos it is called Malecón de Chorrillos the boardwalk of Chorrillos it's very quiet during summer it's a little bit overcrowded as well as the beach so I have to run at least three kilometers and a half maybe until I get home so uh, I don't know if I will walk or not let's see let's see what happens 